What's up, everybody? You know who it is. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna. Oh wow, twenty seven seventy one. <laughs> I love like oh nine thousand. All right, guys, you ready to see what I'm doing to make all this money? This is gonna be an unedited, you know, just what I'm doing. I'm doing everything I said in the video. So if you haven't seen the video, go check it out. Uh, it's my latest money guide. And, you know, I, really nothing more to say. It's just, uh, it's crazy. Every time I log in, just boom, 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 boom. I'm sitting at 80,000 already. Holy crap. And, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, hey, guys, it's Slender. Uh, just chilling, trying to make that money. You know how I how I do that. Um, yeah, man, that's pretty cool. I didn't expect to make that much when I logged in. That's like 50K overnight. So... Yeah, first things first. I'm um, going to go over a couple things that I kind of missed in the video. And uh, this is probably going to be the theme of this whole, you know, journey to 500K. So I'm just going to keep, I'll probably do like a three, four part video, you know, or series. And just want to show you guys the stuff that I'm doing and while I'm actually doing it. And also along the way, I'm going to add more things that I'm doing and maybe things I missed in the video or things that somebody told me about, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, yeah, let's get right into it. So, yep, I'm at 80,000. I put out that video uh, two days ago. Yesterday, I logged in, put some stuff up on the market, um, you know, a little bit here and there, and uh, ended up doing a couple, you know, Lazarus runs. Uh, got in a war with our company and then logged off. And then today, you know, so pretty much in a day, I've made about, uh, about 50,000. You know, I started around 30, 35. So just a little backstory. Um, I was on a different server, Lemazine, that we got merged into uh, City of Brass. <clears throat> um, you know, all good servers, but Lemazine, or City of Brass rather, uh, it was great. At first it was like, wow, there's actually people in Everfall, people in Windsward, it was nuts. You know, you just, you're playing, you walk by somebody and you just hear these random like kitty cat noises and all this weird stuff. I'm like, okay, this is pretty cool. I, I missed this. I'm like looking around my house, like who the hell is making that noise? And I'm like, oh yeah, we've got people on this server now <laughs> instead of like the five same people you keep running into. So yeah, it was pretty cool. And then uh, the whole map was just one color. Every war we played in or fought in was just terrible. You couldn't do anything. It wasn't because of the lag. It wasn't because of the desync. It was just these guys in this big server were just so rich and just had crazy gear and we... You know, we had all 60s in the war. It was pretty crazy. So I got sick of that. Um, there was, you know, a little bit of drama. So I'm like, you know what? It's time for a fresh start. I'm going to start doing YouTube videos. And here I am. So uh, the meat and the potatoes of the video. <clears throat> so I wrote some things down that I wanted to tell you guys. Okay, so uh, number one, <clears throat> excuse me, geez. So uh, one of the things I missed in the video was the fact that you want to make sure that you constantly have 100 buy orders or sell orders rather, or, or both. You know, you want to have some buy orders to buy stuff cheap and either resell them or use them to make things that are, you know, going for a lot of money. So like right now, first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to start selling stuff and listen. If you don't have enough stuff to have a hundred orders, go farm. It's time to get a hundred orders. You don't ever want to see that down to like 50, 60, 70. You want to keep that thing at the ceiling. If you're not selling, if the, if you don't have anything on the marketplace, you're not going to make any money. Simple as that. So put in those sell orders, make sure you're capped all the time. And uh, if you come across something that you know you're going to make good money on, but you're full, cancel some of those other ones, you know, get them out of there. Don't sit on this stuff too long because it doesn't do you any good sitting in your inventory. It's got to be listed. So number one, uh, make sure you have a bunch of sell orders all the time. Uh, number two, when you go to sell something, I'm going to show you right now. And we're just going to place a sell order. We're going to make it, you know, a crazy amount, 4,000, whatever. 
we're going to sell a bunch. Look at that listing fee. So 56,000 just to list it. So what you want to do for every single order, change this, change it from uh, set 14, never have it on 14. I think three to seven is good, depending on what it is. If it's mats, like materials that you know people are going to buy, Asmodium, blah, 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 uh, put it for three days. Look at that. 48,000, 56,000 down to 40,000. Now, I know this is an extreme amount, but even if we just sell one, $92 to list it versus 132. It's a big difference. So all I do mostly three days, but I'll do seven days if I know it's going to take a while to sell. Um, nothing wrong with that. So like armor, weapons, seven days. Materials, you know, iron, scar metal, or calcum, three days. Uh, it really helps a lot. It adds up in the end. You're going to save a lot of money. So that's my other second tip I forgot to mention in the video. And then um, my third tip that I didn't really mention, or maybe I did, but you're not going to make any money if you don't have refining and gathering skills. So I would, if you're either, you know, starting out, you're a fresh player or, <clears throat> let me turn this down. This guy's noisy. So if you're a, a seasoned player, you should already have your gathering up. If you don't, go get them all. Get logging, get mining, get skinning, get everything. You're going to need it. And then get all the appropriate refining professions as well. Um, and that actually gets me into my next, my next topic is my biggest moneymaker has got to be this stuff right here. So biggest moneymakers are completed and expired. Oh, maybe they didn't get bought yet. Sold zero. Look at that. 30 runic leather sold. 36 rune stone. 80. I sold all of my Phoenix weave or almost all of it. And then where's the Asmo? Oh, wherever it is, it must have sold. But yeah, those are those are my biggest money makers right here. The rune stone, runic, asmodium, and phoenix weave. And that stuff sells really quick. So um, CDs, CDs are where it's at. And that's why you need your refining up. That's why you need your gathering up because you need to, you need to take advantage of that. That's where I get most of my money. Uh, another thing, and this kind of sucked when starting out, but it's still doable. You're, you're gonna, if you're just starting out, you have, let's say you have zero money, go farm. Go farm or calcum if you can, go farm wood go farm whatever you can okay fiber i don't care and start listing it make that money start listing it because this is the number on a really good tip you you have to have money in this game to make money i'm sure anybody else that's got big money can attest to that you have to have money to make money so a good example of that right here so i want to make my asmodium right i want to make my asmodium but i can only make seven why because i don't have enough or calcum ingots now, I'm not saying go buy ore calcum ingots, but what I am saying is you're going to have to buy the mats to make it because ore calcum is the one thing that you really can't farm right now. It's terrible. So I have a bunch of star metal ingots already. So I just need to buy some ore. And if I buy a bunch of ore, even though it's ungodly expensive, if I buy enough to make 10, you know, ore calcum or um, asmodium, I'm going to be able to sell those for like 400 a piece. All right, so 400 uh, times 10 is 4,000 right away. Let's see how much money it's going to take to make. Uh, so what you need for one Asmodium, you need five or calcum ingots. So you need uh, 50 or calcum ingots to make all 10 Asmodium, so 50. So that means I need 50 times 8, so I need 400 total or calcum ore. I think that's right, yeah. Now I'm going to buy more than that, but let's just see how much it is. So 174, if I buy 400, looking at 736, I'm going to make 4,000. But a lot of people would be scared to, to pay this because it's almost a thousand gold just to make some more calcum ingots. Are you kidding me? But again, you have to have money to make money. 
All right, so I'm going to buy, well, I'll just buy the, what I need for now. Because I don't want this to go down too far. I'm trying to make a video on, you know, how I'm making all that money. So let's see. So we'll crank some of these out. Uh, whenever you're doing this, make sure you're using the obsidian stuff for the low-end materials. For the high-end materials, you want to get as many as you can, period. It's, that seven is worth it because that's seven ore cocking ingots. Look how much the ingots are. It's crazy. So seven times about 30, that's 210, a little less than, that's about 200. You know, 200, I just got 200 free gold because I used some, uh, some of the obsidian, the good stuff. So absolutely worth it. And, and when you're making the lower end stuff, that percentage gets even bigger when you go from, look at that, 93%. You're going to get almost double the materials here. It's insane. So I'm going to use steel, or I'm going to make steel. So I can make 13. I'm probably going to get like 24 or 25. Yep, that's crazy, almost double. So really important. Uh, and you know what? If you don't have any obsidian flux, buy it. It takes money to make money. You're going to have to spend money to do this. I know it's kind of hard, especially when you're down to your reserves, but it's, it's so worth it in the end. Um, okay, so I... Apparently can't talk and play at the same time. All right, so we're going to make all 10 of those. There's 4,000 gold. And you know what? I'm going to list them right away, too. Plus, you get, you know, you get stuff from here, too. You get more Obsidian Flux. Um, oh, the War Master set. That stuff looks so cool. Oh, another thing that I just, um, I saw somebody mention it. I'm going to start using my repair parts to make repair kits. I don't know if those are going for very much. Let me see what they are going for. So, uh, master repair kit, 65 gold. Are those hard to make? And how do you make them anyway? I'm going to have to find that out. So, yeah, let me sell this really quick. Get me up to 84K. And the way this is going, I'll probably be at 500k in about a week or two, probably. So this is stuff that sells right away. So I'm going to put it for three days because seven days is another like 20 gold, 14 days, like 50 gold. So, and then we're going to drop the price down to 350. Or you know what? We'll just do 370. We don't need to sell it that fast. And then, yeah, I'm going to go around and make my other cooldowns. And then uh, before I cut this video off, um, one, two more things that I'm going to go sell that I totally forgot about. And let me go do that now. And it's so much fun just going from station to station and just, you know, seeing that 10 number. I mean, there's another, what, 10 to uh, maybe 1,000 gold. I don't know. I uh, still have two hours on that. You guys like my mining and skinning outfit and lumberjack <laughs> i'm all messed up <laughs> probably like what the hell is he doing all right i have no idea anymore i have no idea another two hours all right so yeah um if you don't have the money to buy the mats farm the mats make sure you're hitting each one of these stations every single day and you'll be rich every single day and stop spending money on gear go go farm the gear get yourself in some dungeons um so what else can i sell actually i'll wait so back to what i was saying uh two other things that um that you know i figured out when the the christmas winter convergence event came out i was talking about and i don't know if you guys have seen it but i was talking about uh the different things that you can buy like the luck weapons uh, the patterns and the food. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find my food. No. 
I wish I would have bought more of it. Here we go. So all this food, mealy wrap, convergence cake, buttercream pudding. Let's go see what that's selling for now. So buttercream pudding, mealy wrap, and convergence cake. I have like what, 50, 30? Buttercream. So 20, so there's, you know, 1,000 gold right there. Um, convergence cake. 20 and mealy wrap. 20. Um, I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold on to it and wait for it to, to go up. Now, let's see what these are worth. This is another thing I stocked up on, and I'm probably going to sit on these for a lot for a while too because... I want the uh, the items to hurry up and cycle through the marketplace because once that stuff's gone, it's going to go up in price. So the other thing that I'm waiting for is this stuff, all these patterns. You know, these are actually weapon patterns, and you can make the the winter looking weapons, uh, the different you know gear. You know, it looks kind of cool. And after enough time has passed from this winter convergence, because you can't get these anymore. All this stuff, including the food that I've got, you can't buy anymore. It's gone. So uh, Everchill Cleaver, um, Oak Reagent Chest Guard. Let's see what, they, what they're going for. I just want to make sure my mic's actually working. Test, test, test. Oh my god, that's loud. Shoot. I've been talking that loud this whole time. Test, 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 one, two, test, one, two. Wow, I'm sorry, guys. All right, so we're gonna look at patterns. So Blizzard's Fury. So 300 gold, starting price for that. Let's look at some other ones. Floor Regent Crown, 20 gold, yep. Tunic, 8 gold. Gloves, not going to be worth anything. Trousers, 69. 3. Now let's look at some more weapons. 50. 400. 199, so I should have bought more weapons, huh? 200. 70, 100, 100. So, yeah, they're, they're not as high as I was hoping, but again, as more time goes on, then I think these are going to start going up even more. So, that's what I'm doing. So, what are my plans for today? <clears throat> Today, I'm going to craft a mutated tuning orb if I can. And, yep, I can make one. So, uh, I'm going to go do some PvP stuff, farm out this chisel, uh, make some powerful gemstone dust. Oh, that's another thing. Instead of listing all those powerful, those um, uncut pristine gems to make that dust, I should have just made the dust myself because there's only so many jewel crafters that can make that dust. So, it takes three to make one dust. And the price for these gems are about, what are they? I'm thinking what probably 50 to 60 gold. Let's check a moonstone. So they're going down already, 40 gold. Jasper, 45, emerald, 45. So it looks like they're about 50. Except for the onyxes, of course, they're probably still going to be higher. Pearls are going to be higher. And I guess that's it. Oh, that's a brilliant. So now, so that would tell us that the price of a powerful gemstone dust should be what? Four times three. So 120, maybe 130. So let's see. 200. I knew it. So. Oh man, that sucks. <laughs> so pristine. Gonna take those out. 
that's a cut one. Man, all the other ones sold already. Dang it. All right, well, hey, it is what it is. So now I'm going to make those into gemstone dust and get even more money. And uh, yeah, start. I'm going to start putting more buy orders in. Uh, let's see what the buy orders are at right now. How do you check buy orders? Oh, there we go. 32. Wow, that's that's pretty high. I wish it was because people were actually watching the video, but probably not. Uh, place buy order. 44. Oh, sell orders. Those are buy orders. 24. Okay. Buy orders, probably around 20-something, 32. So, I mean, it's still worth it still worth it it's going to take about 90 90 to you know if you got your buy orders for 30 you get three of them that's going to be around 90 bucks and then you could sell it for yeah about 200 so big big uh big come up on that that's good money good profit margin so i will uh yeah i'm going to crank out some of those missions and the reason i'm going to get these mutated tuning orbs is one because if you go on the New World Forum, now I've seen it myself. People were paying like 27000 for a level 7 mutated tuning orb, okay? And in order to get that, you have to complete a mutated tuning orb. And I don't know where the codex goes. I don't know if it's in your bio. I don't know if it's something that you keep on your character. Like, I haven't really checked into that. Uh, maybe... Maybe they added something. Shit, nobody would join my company, so I'm a settler now. Isn't that nice? Um, all right, so whatever. It doesn't matter. But um, if you do the mutated tuning orb, the, the first one, and you complete it, like with the silver better, then you get the codex, and now you unlocked mutator 2. And you have to keep doing that until you get all the way to 10. So it is difficult. Right now I could do like 4. So I can sell... A mutated tuning orb level four for like 10 12 thousand uh, gold for one slot so that's 40 to 50k off of what i have right now now if i do it with the company which i'll probably do also and use one of my orbs i don't charge anybody in the company that'd be terrible but i'll unlock five then unlock six once you hit like seven or eight people are paying ridiculous amounts 27k for like a uh, mutated seven but look at this this is where the real money is, guys. And this is uh, another point that I was going to make is make sure you're in a company. You're not going to make as much money solo. Get in a company, <clears throat> start running those dungeons. It's big money right now. Big money. Um, oh, oh, it was on Twitter. All right, so how have the mutated expeditions been? Watch this. Please remove tuning ores, blah, blah, blah. Dang it. Okay, well, people are saying that it's that there's people charging like a hundred K for some of these higher level mutated orbs. It's it's nuts. It's crazy. 
So yeah, that's that's all I wanted to show you guys. Um, that that these people are selling these orbs for ungodly amounts. Can you imagine making a hundred k just standing there saying in global, "Hey, want to sell a mutated orb? Hundred k." Now it's going to take a while to get there, but anyway. Uh, and then yeah, yeah, you want to be in a company. Make sure you're in a company. If you're not in a company, it's going to be a lot harder to get this money for real. Uh, obviously, you're going to have to be sixty. And I might do, you know, like a a new player. Uh, since I'm already doing that, I might do a video on like how to start out and how to get rich as you're leveling up because I'm sure people would probably be interested in that too. Um, so yeah, that's that's all my tips, guys. That's what I'm going to start doing today. So sorry it ended up being a little longer than I wanted, but um, you know this is unedited. This is just me, my thoughts, <clears throat> and uh, what I'm going to be doing to to make that money. So. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll be out with the next video maybe in a couple days. We'll see where we're at. And again, right now I'm at 80,000. And I expect to be probably around two or 300 by the end of the week, maybe even more. So there you go, guys. If you have any questions, let me know, all right? Oh, and I'm going to be streaming too. I'll be streaming uh, Mutated Dungeons. I'm going to be streaming on Twitch, um, making money. So you guys can actually see real time that I'm not buying gold off of a website. This is actual real money all from the marketplace and player trades when doing the mutated orb. So that's what I'm doing. It's not fake. This is real stuff and how I'm really going to be making this money. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Take it easy.